All right, this is a heartbreaking game for me. Uh, I'm not going to sit here. There's no suspense here. We lost in the fourth round of this tournament. Final 32 on Xbox. Uh, we're playing Dub. Dubby. Dubby's a cool dude. Uh, belt winner. Real, you got a lot of you guys know Dubby. And uh, we lost. We're going to break it down. I think this is how you get better at the game. I think it's also just good to be able to acknowledge uh, what went wrong, both what was unfortunate, what I personally did wrong. So uh, we were starting this game out here. We're on offense. We take a delay, and Dubby immediately sets the tone by accepting the delay of game. Uh, typically something that is never really ever accepted. I'm not sure if I've seen it accepted in an MCS game before, uh, but W does. Uh, that's on me for not asking, I guess. And uh, yeah, here we go. So W is in man-to-man -man coverage uh, across the board. He's in the 35 loop. These guys are looking to loop across around down here. Let me actually get my drawing pen out here. So yeah, these boys are looking to loop in right here uh, and attack me, right? Um, that's a loop blitz. His user is right here. And then we're going to have man-to-man -man coverage across the board with very, very minor adjustments, okay? So, uh, first, and, first and 15, I'm immediately behind the chains. I know he's in man coverage, so we go with the double zig. Uh, double zigs on both sides, double corner routes. is basically a couple me uh, man beating route here, man beating route here, man beating route here, man beating route here. So, it's a really good play call. I actually like this against man coverage quite a bit. Uh, we're going to snap the ball. Now, man coverage is a little bit weird where sometimes uh, it won't, you won't always win, right? And right here, we actually end up missing the read on the right side, which is something I really can't afford to do. Now, I, ugh, my eyes were over here. The hard thing here against man coverage is seeing, okay, did he win? My eyes are here. He did not win. And immediately, I'm trying to get away from the pressure, and I missed A. Right? So my eyes were here at Y, and he did not win immediately. The user's there. Now there's pressure. I'm trying to get away from that pressure, and we have A open but I end up missing. I'm just a little too slow to be able to get there with my reads. Second and 21, we're able to check it down over the middle of the field. I like being able to do that, make it a third and 11. Now, again, if that uh, delay doesn't get accepted on me, we have a uh, third and six right here. But again, regardless, I have to be a little bit better. I should have, I really wish I could have opened this game off running the ball a little bit just to stay ahead of the chains. I think in Madden 23, you really need to be ahead of the chains so much. Uh, try to go with a very quick throw to the flat where I thought we'd be able to truck up. Uh, this is a really good play uh, with this wheel out of the backfield. Typically in this style of defense, this DB right here is going to be manned up onto the wheel. So you're able to hit this to it for a quick flat. And that's why I thought the coverage was that he was in was. Instead, he had the outside linebacker manned up. Not able to break the tackle either as quickly as I needed to. Fourth and nine, we're going to punt this rock over to Dub.W. And he's going to be taking the offensive side of the ball. Now, first to ten, he's in gun tight as well, but he's in gun tight offset. Notice this halfback is behind the quarterback whereas for me they are they are level basically all right so he's in new orleans book i believe or saints uh, or rather or packers uh learning to run the ball early he actually ran the ball on first down right we were able to shoot the gap second and eight good little start for us right i have obviously you never want to get the ball and start out going three and out it's obviously not a great thing um but not the worst thing ever um, especially that you can play defensive this year. I love this covered shell against tight. Tight is really known for being able to attack the sidelines really well with really deep corners and struggles attacking the middle of the field. So we're taking away the deep corners with these deep blues. We have the short flat taken away with these cloud flats. And then the middle of the field is helped taken away by these two inside quarters who I can be a little bit flexible with these guys as well. I'm doing a three man rush, so there won't be much pressure, but again, I don't think he'll be able to get much open. We have a hook curl right here and my users right here. I love this style of coverage against tight formations quite a bit. Um, and you'll see it actually works pretty well for us pretty consistently, right? Able just to user that corner right there. That's something where I see a lot of people struggle with. I want you guys to pay attention to what my user does here. Dubby sees the baseline press, so he clears out. Remember this deep zone right here? He clears this out with a streak route. So that streak, my deep zone has to run with the streak. My user sees this and tails this guy right here. He could have probably actually thrown that with like a high ball or something, um, but he doesn't. Uh, it would have been close. I don't know. It, it was a risky, risky pass. And on second and eight, he didn't want to make that risk. Third and eight. And that's something where I recognize my user. Clear out. I need to get out there right away. And I knew that Steve Atwater was, was going to be able to, uh, to track him um, for a pretty good distance, right? To be able to get a good user. Now, third and eight, uh, we're going back into uh, our covered shell. I'm actually trying to make it look like a blitz bluff. So I'm standing here in the gap. I pinched my line. I'm hoping that he thinks I'm blitzing these guys off the edge and a little five-man rush if not a six-man right instead I'm bluffing right here 
uh, trying to get him to call kind of a bad play against max coverage. Really the exact same shell that I was in before. Again, just super bluffing him. So third and eight. Uh, let's see. He's going to end up snapping it right here. Uh, one second left. And good defense. Better catch by him. This is a pretty high level play by him. Uh, so check this out. Right? Pretty good D. This corner route's breaking right here. We have a defender right here. He's able to throw that down and able to get a click on in front of me. See how already we're both clicked down already. See, Davis is, Davis is right here. That's my defender. Moss is right there. He's able to click on, get an ag catch just in front of my defender. I should probably play receiver there, actually. It's Deb going for the pick, and he's able to catch it just in front of me. That, that's that type of thing. Such a good play from Dubby. Uh, it's heartbreaking for me because I've played good. It is good defense as well, is the thing. It's like that is a very high-level play that you really won't, won't run into someone being able to make that play, especially on a consistent basis. Very often, I don't even know if the, how consistent that throw is with uh, Carlton Davis there. But regardless, we're back on our first of 10. You see, I'm in a different look right now in man-to-man. -man. You can tell a big part is because this DB is lined up over top this CB or this wide receiver on both sides. So he knows I'm, not, I'm no longer baseline press. So There's a good chance for a man. We're doing these double flats in the safeties where um, we're going to be able to take away the deep corner routes with our safeties now in 20-yard uh, in flats. Again, I'm hoping that he thinks pressure right here, able to shoot the gap, put him down. I really want him to think pressure. I, I, I think I, I was hoping, I was actually hoping he would pass the ball right there, thinking I would rage blitz. I just let up that uh, that big third and eight. Um, he ends up running the ball. I would be, I wonder if I go right back to the same look. I bet I do actually, because I want him to think I'm, I'm, I'm expecting him to think I'm setting pressure right here. So if I bluff him, which I am doing right here, which I don't think I got all my adjustments off, we're in a good spot. End up kind of bad defense. He gets a bad pass, though. Not a great pass lead by him. He could have actually done that a little bit better with that free form. That's what's cool about this year is that some of the bad pass animations you get are kind of on you. Right there, he could have gotten a way better pass had he done a better free form. Now we're setting the dogs on 3rd and 11, and we get a quick pick right there. Finally, I get the dogs. Here we go. Boom. Off the edge. Off the edge. Where is old buddy? Um, where is he? Oh, oh right here. Off the edge, boom, up the middle, straight covered across the board. And what happens here, and this is almost an intentional move by me, um, is that I'm trying, so he sends his halfback out here, right? I My user's right here, I'm trying to get to that halfback. But one of the things you do is, I didn't mean to get caught as bad as I did, is he sees me jerking out here, I try to bump this receiver. Now, I got bumped way more than I thought, because he could have thrown this for a big game. But he thinks because my user's going this way, this wide receiver will win. He doesn't because of the bump. And now Randy's able to actually play that in front and get an interception. A really key quick stop for us. Now, the pick right there wasn't the biggest thing in the world because honestly, he could have just punted the ball or it was third down. So uh, he would have had to punt. But regardless, a huge deal for us because now we're also basically in field goal range. We're in a really good spot, right? Again, he's back in that same defense looking for the double loop um, or a loop of some sort. Always the threat of a loop here. Um, which is obviously something that I'm trying to protect against. Now, we start out with a draw. This is what I want to be able to do a little bit more. I want to be able to put the ball on the ground. This is a hard game uh, to really pass the ball consistently. And I like the loop. You have to think a halfback draw, it's a pass play. So, if they're looping, notice this linebacker comes out here in a loop angle. So, we're able to take off right here. Unfortunately, these two bozos don't block his user. He clicks off and we don't get any yards. Although that could have been a huge run. And trust me, I recognize that as a man player. And I say, okay, I'll probably be able to go back to that at some point, right? I really do like halfback draws this year, especially against that loop meta uh, and even like the, the DB fire meta or spinner meta because the edge heat, you go right in the middle. Right here, all the way down, second to eight. My big thing here, and I, under, I, I know W's gonna play good defense and I also think I'm gonna play great defense. And I feel like that last drive just showed me, hey, Kenny, you're gonna play great fucking defense. You're in a position to get three. W's playing good defense. Don't take a sack. Don't go backwards. You gotta you gotta move forward, right? So second and eight, we're right on the edge of field goal range. I want to run the bar here just to make sure we get into field goal range, and we don't really get many yards. We only get two yards. Putting me at a third and six uh, at the forty. I can kick from the forty-one. Again, I don't want to play conservative here, but I don't want to blow the opportunity for a first, for, for field goal range, right? For free points, basically, because, uh, or not free points, but for points, right? Uh, we went, we go on aggressive ball carrier because it's a huge down third and six. I'm not gonna go for on fourth down in this situation. Uh, again, defense is so good. It's such a different game from Madden 22. Um, and I think what we're gonna go here is a run or a quick pass this flat. 
I believe we go with the run. Cause I know a halfback draw right here will at least result in zero yards, right? That's worst case scenario is zero. Boom, up the middle, we get zero. We're gonna take our three. Conservative, super conservative, probably too conservative, but I have a lot of respect for W as a defensive player. My last drive, I really didn't have much open in my mind. Um, and I'm, I, I'm okay with three points. Goddamn, I'm gonna go up 3-0 and play better defense, right? I think we're gonna continue playing good defense. This is a mindset that it's not great. Um, I don't hate it. Um, because I know I probably, I, 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 in this Madden, I probably, gonna, I have a better chance of doing well on defense in this game than I do on offense. Um, but I mean, you'll see as this game goes on, uh, that, that decision, uh, starts to backfire. Again, setting no pressure from us. Good defense, good defense. And we end up getting the sack right there. Good playmaker by him, but just too much time, uh, or he spent too much time. Second to 16 and a good spot right here for us. Uh, I'm curious what my play call is. I might heat him up right here. You see, again, we're not baseline press. I think we're in spinner. Yep, trying to send the dogs off the edge. We do have that running back man up now, so I don't have to worry about him. And he motions out, and it's end. What happens right here? Jeez, got a big play. Second to 16. The halfback goes out of the backfield. We're using him now. He throws it. Bang! Randy Moss, the pick right there. I don't know what the throw A, a weird... I really am not super sure. It's the same play as before. Randy plays it again. Um... I really don't know what he was doing, but hey, we're in a situation now. Hey, we're up a stop. Good freaking stuff, boys. Let's go. We got two picks on W. We've got stopped on offense, and we really haven't got much going on offense at all. Uh, but now we're we got we gotta get something going, right? I can't afford to kick just kick three again. So dropping back, half out of the backfield's bag, X is bag, but we're able to scramble up off the middle. One of the most lethal things you do with the quarterback to help keep the defense honest, especially against these kind of three-man edge rushes, right? Uh, this was four-man is see this gaping hole right here boom take off right nothing's open take off i could have technically still thrown x um but i had the open yardage in front of me to scamper for so that's what we're gonna do second and six from the 23 yard line i really need to find a way to capitalize and be able to punch us into the end zone right gun tight sitting in it he's sitting in the same defense i mean this is really gonna, just gonna be a lot of uh a lot of the same things going back and forth looking for this halfback out of the backfield now um quick throw boom it would get to the sideline a little bit it would have push Mike Allstott, I'd like to get a better fall forward animation. We're three for three passing, though. Like, we are passing the ball okay, right? But just not amazing. It was really not as amazing as I'd like to do. Now, we're going back to this bench with these. Uh, I, I like this play call a lot. I really, really do. I think it's a really good play call. Um, and we're able to hit X underneath. A good a good short read by me. So, honestly, I, I honestly don't think, looking back on it, especially early, I don't think I gave myself enough credit for playing pretty well on offense. Um, I am four for four at this point. Like, I'm doing a good job. We get to the three-yard line, uh, and we're going to punch it in with Mike Allstop. Raw up in the top. If you guys are, uh, you guys want to be a part of what we're doing here, change your team name to Raw with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine H's. Put that in the top when you score a fucking tutty. That shit's nasty, dude. Raw. All right. Skipping ahead. Uh, w ball. He ran the ball second to two. No reason to even show that. I don't care. Right. We're in a good spot though, up 10. We get a stop. If we can somehow get a stop and a score here, we're in an awesome spot. Um, I really, looking back though, I am a little frustrated because I remember thinking at this point, I'm like, I'm not really playing good in offense, but passing the ball wise, like I'm playing pretty well. We were stuck. One of the worst things ever, getting stuck out of the lineman and he's able to take advantage right where my user tries to be. Frustrating. I, we're actually outplaying the hell out of him right now. Two for six, I'm four for four. I'm not really playing well. I, I don't know. Maybe I need to be more confident in offense. I'm not sure. Baseline press, go for that same look of just the cover four, uh, cover four drop. And I really don't mind showing him that. I want him to have to beat it. I think it's hard to beat it out of this formation. Um, one thing you have to be wary of is he cleared this guy out, right? So I'm expecting a streak. I'm expecting a deep corner route, right? So I need to just be aware of that with my user. I'm sending, I'm sending heat right here, right? And he has to back up. Awesome. He took a delay of game. Let's see, does he do the same thing? And now we're showing a little bit different look. We're not baseline pressing. Uh, we are in this cover four shell, but we're setting heat. Bad free form by him. Pressure in his face. Not able to get it. Let's go second to 16. What's he do right here? Second to 15. Look, same look. I'm bluffing the pressure right here. No, I actually sending the pressure again. And he does a good job of actually attacking the middle. Same, kind of basically the same ball. Uh, ends up getting a little bit better free form right there. Able to keep the chain moving. Uh, gets the first out. I really can't. I, that's a mistake on my part. Uh, we're going back to a similar coverage again right here. Uh, good defense, though. What, a mistake happens right here. Look, so my user was here, right? My user was here to start this play. Rewind if you want to see it. I click on over here. It's a really good click on. See me? 
but I double click, so I'm off of him now. I click back, but I can't get up to him in time. He's able to lob this up. Well, it's a good play from W. It is a good play from W. It's a he, his biggest play of the game so far has been off of a broken play, which is something I can't afford to. You know, I need him to work for his yards, right? I need him to work for his yards. He hit a nice route over the middle to gain about 17 or whatever on a second of 15. And then that broken play gave him about 30. He's an eye tight. He's going to score. Um, yeah, he scores seven. I have a minute 30, though. He gets ball at half, too, uh, which is like, okay. I'm really like, he's in a fine spot. I'm in a good spot. Like, I'm up three. Um, I'm on my own 18. And, man, thinking back to this, I really didn't think I was playing that well on offense. I, I, I'm not sure why. Um, two timeouts. I can really do a lot of things here still. I have the ability to hurry up with plenty of time. I have two timeouts to be able to call, you know, stop the clock whenever I need to. Uh, we're going to a play called uh, PA Slot Options. Really looking for this tight end out of the uh, right here. And we're able to hit him with a short little gain and get out of bounds. Get him nine. I'm five for five for 41, man. Dang, dude. Looking back, I I'm a pussy. Third and one right here. Jeez, how we get that? Third and one. I think we just end up running a draw right here just to ensure that we get it. Yeah, we do. Mike Allstott up middle. Ah, man, gaping holes in the run game. See, this is what I'm upset about. Uh, I remember thinking this during the game, is that we have some pretty big holes in the run game here, right? Like, this is a, like, this is a, a tutty thing here, or even, like, through here, you know? And, but then we just get this shed right here, man, which is unfortunate, especially where, I mean, we were third and one, we got, dang, ah, uh, a little frustrating, a little frustrating, especially looking back at it, I'm like, dang, what a gaping hole. I mean, it's, I, I, I never, I'm never a huge advocate of the run game, um, but the fact of the matter is when you get into tournaments, especially in a game like this where it's so hard to pass the ball consistently and just offense is hard, a lot of people are going to run, right? Including myself, including your favorite pro. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just a fact of the matter. 40 seconds left. The clock is running. I don't mind the clock running some. He gets kind of free pressure. I get scared. We have A over the middle, though. And that's one of the first things where I'm a little upset about. Uh, he has a mid-route KO. I have, I have abilities on him, though. Like, I light up on my ability. This is a good read, right? Good. At I really feel like this got has to be a catch, and I mean it knocks me from basically being field goal range, not field goal range, but not ten yards away from field goal range to I'm on my own thirty still. Again, you can't sit there. And, I, I think stuff like that is what kind of made me think I was playing worse on offense than I was. Um, whereas that is an open ball, second and ten, right? So we're gonna go to a different play call, even though that was such a good play call for the situation. We're gonna motion Parham over on a deep post. Right, so we have streak, corner, post, out route. Uh, we have two main man beating routes right here, and then this out can beat man. So it's meant to push uh, flat zones to the side. My Y route does not win. He users A, very good user by him, and we end up eating a sack. And basically, that, that kills the drive, right? W calls the timeout now. Um, I'm more than willing to just take this to the half, basically. And that's pretty much what we do. Uh, we punt the ball away, his ball right now. Let's skip ahead a little bit. Right, end of the half. Nothing really super happy. You know, right, six seconds. Nothing crazy happening here. He can't really do much. He's going to try to launch and up one-on-one -on -one coverage. Kind of bad defense by me. Uh, although one-on-one -on -one isn't the worst thing ever. And we go into half up three. His ball. We set edge heat. He picks it up. Good pickup by him. This is a crazy play. And the reason this is a crazy play that's open down the sideline is look what coverage I'm in. Look what coverage I'm in. Do I show my play art? No. We have cloud flat from my outside corner. We have half. We have half, quad flat for half, outside corner. I'm in cover two. First play of half, I, I tried heating it up. I thought he was going to dump it down quick to the flat. So I had I had this guy in a 10-yard flat, right? Because I thought he was going to run that play at that halfback out of the backfield. And I wanted to use her over the middle. He ends up calling a cover two bomb. No idea why he called a cover two bomb. I have no idea why. I have not ran cover two this entire game. You guys have watched every play. I have not called cover two yet. I don't know if this is, and this is not me trying to be a dickhead to W. I don't know if this is the greatest play call of all time because he just knew I was in cover two and there's no tell that I'm in cover two. I mean, look, there's no tell I'm in cover two here. I don't think. I, I, I'm shocked that, that he knew I was in cover two. Or, or it's a, it, it's a lucky play call that he, he just ended up calling a shot play to start off the half and, and, he, and he got it, right? Uh, the only thing I can think of as a tell is that I'm not pressed here, but I think there was a few other instances where I wasn't pressed. And I sent pressure one, two, three, 
four, five. My user's in the gap, and he was able to pick it up, which that's not... That, that sucks for me, because a lot of times that comes free. But again, he's had two huge plays. That was that was a laser beam. Um, but I'm like, I'm like that's such a play, bad play call against every other every other defense I've ran today. That's a terrible play call, right? And he gets it. His other big play was off the broken lob. Uh, and it's like, okay, W, like, uh, good stuff. But I, I, I can't be letting that stuff happen in a game where I, I need to win this, right? I got to find a way to win this game. First to uh, first 10. He's going for that deep corner on the left side. We're there. He ends up taking off on the middle. We're able to force a fumble. Takes off with his quarterback in a kind of contested traffic. Able to get the big stop that we needed to get, right? And this is him trying to take off. We get our sheds as he takes off. And we just hit him as he's crossing the line. Not a ton W can do, but that is the risk you take when you're scrambling up the middle. Uh, with your quarterback, and now it's our ball. We're gonna quickly audible down. We're running a little stretch to the left side with all stop. At this point, dude, I know that if I'm able to break a run, that's gonna be demoralizing to him. We're able to get outside, get outside, get outside. All stop able to throw one off. All stop able to fall forward for some really good yardage, 12 yard gain right there. And that's the type of things I need in an offense where I'm like, okay, like I'm not having to work too hard. Again, I remember thinking at this point that I was not playing well on offense. And if you guys have watched, all my pass plays have been pretty successful for the most part, besides taking a sack on my first play of the game. Um, and that's the result, but it's just not how I, how I saw it. And truthfully, maybe I didn't see it like that because I went three and out my first drive, which a big part was that he accepted that delay to start, which, to credit to him, props to him. Um, props to him for doing it. Right? I need to be a little bit better probably mentally, I guess, because I really did not think I was doing that well offensively. Going with double bench on both sides here. Again, he plays good defense. Uh, we end up going for a high ball outside, and we get lucky with the early breakup by him. And again, this kind of adds on to me thinking I'm playing bad on offense, whereas that's probably my first bad read here. I'm a little upset that I got that played because right here, it looks like I, I'm, I'm throwing this as I win, right? You can see I'm, I'm, I'm ahead right here, and I pass lead this bad boy outside the reticle, right? You can see where I pass lead that thing, and he just gets caught up too. Very, very scary. Very fortunate I was not picked off. Very, very fortunate. Another pass play right here. Get bagged. Throw the ball away. Third and ten. Let's see what happens on the next play. Kind of a bad play call right here. Oh, I'm trying to... So, this motion out gets separation on Moss. So, I'm able to get... This guy is made up on Moss if he's running man coverage. So, Moss will be able to get free release to a deep quarter. Uh, I like this form. I like this play out tight a fair amount. He ends up outside 30 in that guy. Good defense. Pressure came in. And now, now's the part where I start missing some reads, right? This is probably the biggest, like, very obvious missed read I had where I have X right here. Now, is X a first down? If I catch it right here, right, catch it right here, maybe I'm able to hit that right fall forward possibly. Or maybe it's not and I end up punting. But that's a missed read right there. And now I'm starting to get to, oh, I'm playing bad on offense. Fourth and 10. I end up going for this. And this is where we're going to break out a glitch. Uh, I try to go into tournaments with at least one glitch. And this tournament, I had one. Um, and it was a good one. It was a good one. Uh, I was a big fan of this glitch. I, I, I knew that this glitch was perfect for a situation like this where if I can pick this up on W, especially if I can turn this drive into seven points, I win this game. I really feel like that. Tony G on the outside right now. He gets out. He sets. We're going to snap this ball. Throw it up. Drop it. This was an ag glitch that I knew was good for 10 yards. Um, and I knew I knew in this, the coverage, Dubby's running one-on-one -on -one out here. I catch this every time. Throw it up. We're able to get that ag catch in front of him. See, we came down with the ball now. And he gets a tackle animation on me that knocks it out. He has mid-route KO. I have deep out. His mid-out KO overrules me. That's not... That's a very rare thing that happens uh, with this. Right? And it was unfortunate. Um, yeah, it was unfortunate. Uh, I, I was pretty upset about that. that was a, I, I still looked at that. I'm like, that's a good play call. I mean, I, I knew what I had. I knew I was going to be able to get the catch. Uh, I knew I was going to be able to do the stick work, the, sk the stick skill that was needed to do that. Um, if you guys are interested in that, in that, by the way, that's on Civil GG, my website. Link in the description below. Along with this offense, defense, uh, a lot of other stuff, pocket presence, blitz pickups. We have a lot of awesome shit on Civil GG right now. Code Civil for 25% off. Defense, so we're still up three, so the game's not over. But damn, uh, I just feel like I'm in a shitty spot, right? Playing good D right here, playing good D right here. Ooh. 
I like that. Six for 13 with two picks. He cannot move the ball, really. He has two huge plays, uh, a 30-yard and like two 30-yard dots, right, which is good for him. I have not really been able to get big pass plays, um, which is a big issue. My offense was not able to move the ball, you know, explosively downfield at all in this game. He was able to do it just a couple times, right? Still 10-7, uh, though. Defense playing well. Setting the dogs off the, off the edges right here. This, this look for me is typically a coverage look. This was a really good read by him. And this is just a, I mean, this is one of the, Dubby's a pro player. Dubby's one of the best players in the world when he's playing in tournaments, when he's passing the ball well. Uh, right here, we heat him up from this look. So I'm expecting him to think I'm going coverage right here. This is a very coverage look for me. We send pressure right across the board. Uh, I have help over the middle and I made up this halfback. I made up this halfback to be able to take him away quickly for the halfback flat. Now, I thought my pressure would get here and you see it screaming. We are, I mean, there's so many lines on the field right now, but we are screaming. I thought my pressure would get here before a corner route could develop. You see, he is throwing, he's throwing right now as this corner route's developing. I'm using the backside dig. Good read. Really good read. Just a high, just a high level, you know what I mean? Just a high level read. Able to get to the second level against pressure when he's not playing well on offense either. He knows that. Uh, it's just like, damn. Uh, respect to you, Debbie. I can't take anything away from that. We got to get back in our run defense, though. Going for the baseline press look again. What do we go with here? Do we man up? Do we man up Moss? We might. Let's see. Moss is manned up. And that's a really good play by him. Super good play. So, Dubby, I mean, this is where you go. Like, Dub, again, I'm going to give Dubby, I'm going to give Dubby the credit. So, last play, I or a few plays prior, I would manned up this guy on the Moss. Um take away the deep corner route which I thought he was running right here so I didn't have to use it he puts Moss on a flat route which takes away my flat and my man up I have the user over here for a second I'm not sure what the route combo is and then he has a post route coming back across my at water just a little right just a little bit out of reach dot able to get into the end zone he takes the lead and again it falls back to me not making him have to work for me not making him have to work enough on, on offense uh, on some of these touchdown drives. Now we're down. Quick throw to the running back. We got to get something going on offense. All stop. Able to get a good little gain of 15. Trying to cut that back in with a stiff arm to get some real gain. I'm seven for, yeah, I think he had seven completions for about 150 yards. I have seven for 59 yards. It does show a big difference between the success we've had on the pass that we completed. All of mine have been kind of baby dots, baby checkdowns. Um, and his, even though he has, he, he has I, probably a worse completion percentage than I do, I think. At least he did. Um, they've, he's got some chunk plays out of it, which helps a lot, right? Helps a ton. First of 10, we're going to run the ball right here, trying to get ahead of the chains. I have uh, Taylor in the game really fast for all stop taking a quick breather. Um, and second to six, we're going to keep this chains moving. What happened on second to six, actually? What happened? We have all stop in. What happens here? Let's see. All right, passing. Going with bent. Okay. Going with a little bit of a different bench concept. Trying to get these out routes open. Both of them are bagged. I have. I got so scared about throwing my corner routes, man. That one bad corner route we threw has me so scared about throwing the corner routes. And that it's just something you can't be. Uh, I'm not. I'm not confident enough passing clearly in this game. Um, uh, I'm just not. Third and six. I go on aggressive ball carrier. I'm really looking for this halfback out of the backfield. Trying to make it easy on myself. Uh, third and six, big, big down. We check it down quickly. We get it. Going, 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 going. Throw a stiff arm, get tackled from behind. Now we're moving. We're at the 45-yard line. We're down four, though, so we could kick three. I don't want three, though. All right, let's skip ahead a little bit. First to 10 from the 45. The chains are moving just slightly, right? We're getting going a little bit. I like this play call a ton. Looking. Get to end up throwing the ball away. And we sack fumble for six. Oh, man. Uh, he had me bagged. Don't get me wrong. He had me bagged. Uh, now, mind you, I did go on conservative. Uh, I was on aggressive. I did go on conservative. I'm aggressive here. Let's just watch this, right? I'm on aggressive here. I go on balance. Usually, I would go on conservative, and I play on conservative a ton. I decided to go on balanced. Um... These fumbles don't happen a ton in this game. Uh, I like this play call a ton. I do. I, I didn't. I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna use for the halfback. So the reason that I do this 
is I thought he was going to use the halfback out of the backfield. I thought he was going to go for the like a hard lurk here. So I put him on an in route, hoping he'd overshoot it. He, had, he just had a manned up. Fair. Used at the post. Fair. My zig didn't get open. Fair. Throw it away. And I have it on first and 10 while I'm actually, you know, I, I'm, I'm struggling, but I'm mo I am moving. Oh. Oh, it's brutal, dude. It sucks. It really does suck. I just hate a game. I, I hate. But it's on me for not, you know, taking more advantage of what I was able to do on offense, man. It's a, it's an unlucky thing. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm going to tell you what the point of view is from a competitive perspective. Um, I get that this happens in the NFL. The fact of the matter is that you go throughout this entire game, you can find a very similar situation where I hit W as he's throwing the ball and it falls harmlessly to the ground, right? So it going the other way where I get hit as I'm throwing and instead of falling harmlessly to the ground, not only is it a fumble, but it's a fumble six. You know, it sucks. Uh, I know some people will say, well, uh, Civil, Kenny, W fumbled with his quarterback too. Dubby fumbled while scrambling up the middle with his quarterback, and he took a hit stick. Um, that's a very common fumble in the game. He wasn't even sliding at that point. You can go back and watch. He wasn't sliding or anything at that point. Uh, and, I mean, for at this point, my offensive confidence is shot uh, down 11. I mean, again, I only had 98, 98 yards to 198. Now, his 198 have came off about three plays for the most part, which, I mean, it is sometimes how you have to get it done. Right, you have to find that anti box, right? Get out of the box. He was able to do it for a few plays, which is all he needed to do. And then he got that free, basically a free seven. Um, it would take off up the middle for us. We were able to slide down. That, that's such a weird animation. Um, but able to slide down, trying to get I'm trying to get things going. Second and three, get a quick ch uh, corner route right here. And this is essentially what I call this is a stay alive drive, right? You see me milk this play clock all the way down. So when I get, when I, because so I got out of bounds. This game clock isn't moving. Milk the play clock all the way down to about 15 so it won't get the auto runoff so we can snap one play before the third. Every play is so important. I'm trying to get the snap off really fast. I'll just see if I can get anything before. Quick out route. Get another five yards before the, before the start of the fourth quarter. We're 11 for 18 for 106 yards. Um, again, I like to play a little bit more. Very rarely we see those slow passing stats for me. Right. But... Let's see, I'm on balance still. At this point, if I fumble again, I lose. It, it is what it is, right? If I fumble twice, what are you going to do? You know, second of four. I'm still in the game, though. I am still genuinely in this ball ballgame. Uh, we're going for a shot play, right? I know I need to score fast. I know he is, he is playing genuinely kind of aggressive defense. So I know we have a shot, right? We get this cut right here. We're going for the, we're going for the dot to the outside. Catch it. Gonzalez drops it. Again, that's... I, I should try to go for a rack, I guess, right there, maybe. I just hate, like, it looks like I win right here, right? Go for the throw. Pass it way outside. We're only we can get it. We get the high ball. And we have getting knocked out. Not able to get, not able to come down with that one. That would have been a big play for us. But just not able to get it. Gonzalez is tired. That's two different balls that would have been really cool if Gonzalez caught. That he's not able to get a, a great animation on. That ag catch before half, though, is such a big, or in the third, or whatever that was. Uh, such an unfortunate thing. We end up putting Randy Moss here, and we end up going back to the same play. Risky, but I know I need a shot. I, need, I know I need to hit fast. So Randy Moss, a little bit better receiver. Go back to the exact same play. The wheel counts out of the backfield. He goes to user it, and oh my gosh, man! I, I haven't even watched this, dude. Oh brother, he sends three. He gets a disengage up the middle. I have this. This is open, man. He just gets a disengage up the middle, bro. Oh, man. <sighs> Damn, bro. I mean, it's a three-man rush. I blocked five, bro. Like, his users... Like, it's a, per it's a perfect play call. It's a touchdown. Oh, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Looking back on this game, I'm actually more upset than I was when I lost. Damn. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is the final 32 of Xbox, right? I think I mentioned that. I might have mentioned that earlier. This would have put me into the next day, final 16, two games away from the live event. And again, I'm not upset that I lost to Dubby. Dubby's a, Dubby is an amazing player. I, I always root for streamers. Streamers, off, people who stream the game, competitive Madden are what I think are some of the biggest building blocks for the future of competitive Madden. Second of four, though, my, my lifeline, 
you know, we're on the line. The game's on the line right here. Five minutes left. Everything's on the line. I'm trying to figure out a play. I'm, uh, I got I to stay a little bit better mentally. I do. Just hoping to be able to get some over the middle right here. Toss it. Picked off. That, a terrible read. Terrible read. I can't. There's no defending that, you know. Um, good user by him. I, I was hoping this would get more separation. I'd be able to throw it a little bit more over here. Uh, I, I got shedded, so I had to kind of release the ball fast or, you know, before I wanted to. I probably should have sent the half back out of the backfield. Uh, I thought blocking him would buy me more time for a broken play. Didn't. Uh, no, I had more time. I, I, he's shedding right here. Buy a little bit more time. And then, I mean, from here, it's just W running out the clock. Um, and I can show you that, but, I mean, it doesn't really do anything. You know, it's just him running the ball a bunch of times, gets three or whatever. Uh, we do we do end up getting lucky. Uh, we end up getting lucky here. Uh, down 14, 43 seconds. Obviously, I have to score a touchdown damn near instantly. So, I mean, we're just going to launch stuff up. Uh, this is funny, at least. Um, so, there's that. And then... We score a touchdown, right? We just, I mean, we just launch it. We're able to come down with that one. Uh, touchdown, don't get the onside, GG's. Um, I mean, def I mean, good games to W, good game to W. I'm a little upset. I it feels like, again, of course, I'm biased. It's myself, so I think I might have, I thought I was playing worse on offense than I was, um, but also, I feel like I got a little bit unlucky. That, that disengage, I had a three-man rush when I had a touchdown to put myself back into the game, and then the fumble six, dude, is so, uh, so shitty looking back on that. It really is. But, um, again, W's a really good player. Um, I can't take any wave. I, I, the thing I, I kept saying afterwards was that, um, well, I felt like I got unfortunate. I do feel like I got a little unfortunate. Um, I didn't play well enough to win. Um, now, I don't think W did either. I think both of us played not great. And, it, and, and when you both play not great, it leaves the opportunity for, you know, getting cheated to screw you more. Uh, you know, I mean, had I played awesome, had I played a lot better on offense to the, to the fullest of my capabilities, some of those unfortunate events wouldn't have played as much of a factor in me losing. Um, but truthfully, we both didn't play great. And then when you don't play great, you give yourself the opportunity to have things go against you. Um, that's just what happened. Uh, and I did, I did a bad job of also capitalizing on W's early turnovers. Um, I did get 10 points out of it. Well, I mean, he had three turnovers. I think I turned the three turnovers into 10 points total, which you... I got, I got to find a way to, to three turnovers. You got to find a way to go get 14 out of that, right? Because he had, he had the fumble with his quarterback and he was running. And then he had the two picks and I kicked three and scored seven. Uh, you got to find a way when you get turnovers to um, to actually capitalize on him. Because when I had turnovers, he was able to capitalize. Uh, especially, yeah. So uh, it sucks, dude. I, I, I really hate losing that. I felt really good. On, I did feel really good on the game. I, I felt really good in the rest of the tournament. On those games, rep games, I felt really good on. Uh, we have another tournament coming up uh, later this month as well. If you're interested in that, follow me on Twitch. Follow me here. I mean, we're up, I don't know. Just keep, keep staying hot. Stay in touch with my con, uh, my information. That was a few days ago, dude. I really don't get that upset about losses in tournaments just because, you know, it is what it is. Um, I like competing. Uh, my goal is, my goals, you know, to really do a good job in all Madden content-wise, competitive-wise. And a uh, Final 32 on Xbox is a pretty decent finish. Um, so I'm not super upset. But, damn, looking back on that game, I'm like, jeez. Uh, what an unfortunate um just, i gotta play better i gotta play better not let those mistakes really like take advantage of me like that um let me said boys subscribe see y'all later